Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here in this new filming spot location because we have some lily pads, we have some alligators, but we also have something electrifying from Genesis. What the heck is it? This is a 2024 Genesis GV60, but guess what? This is the trim that you want to see. This is the performance trim. But before we get into this smaller size, almost looks like a lifted hat hatchback or a hot hatch, but into this smaller compact crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Genesis. They really are on fire. Basically, they're really electrifying. And the reason why is, is because since 2015, they have done the unthinkable. They've been able to go from zero to hero in a very, very short amount of time. Not only did they continue making sedans, but also they started making crossover SUVs. Of course, it started with the car that literally launched Tiger Woods right off the edge was that Genesis GV80. Of course, you got the smaller GV70. The GV60 slides right underneath the GV70. Now, GV60 only comes as a BEV, a battery electric vehicle. The GV70, you could still get internal combustion engine or you could go with what's called GV70 electrified, where it tosses out the motor, excuse me, the engine, and replaces it with two motors and that battery pack. Now, if you're looking for performance, if you're looking for some unique style, and especially amenities on the interior, is this the best new sporty crossover SUV to go with? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this GV60 and find out. Right off the bat, we have a totally new color. It's called Atacama Copper. Say that 20 times fast without tying up your tongue. Really, I think gives it a futuristic modern look. Let me know how you feel about this copper color. Now at the front of the business, Genesis does a bang up job on their lighting. So you're gonna have that double stacked headlight housing. The way that they integrate the body color and the actual body into the separation of the headlight housings look really clean, separates it from the rest of the pack. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what would be a competitor to this GV60? It would actually be, believe it or not, an Audi Q4 e-tron. So you know what a Q4 looks like. This, though, definitely brings that extra style, I think, over the Audi. Now, working your way down, you got all LED lighting. Working your way down, we have functional corner air curtains. And I like the way the air curtain just drips into that lower grill area. And you'll always notice that triangular diamond style design to their grills. That's a, that's a Genesis design philosophy. You have this flat silver splitter, because remember, this being a performance trim, not only about performing, but it's also about giving you that perfect airflow to give you some nice confidence inspiring downforce, but also keep it slippery enough so that you could get that longer range. Now, as we come across that front nose area, they did a great job taking their large grill and just keeping it down below. That diamond style, even up here, look at the way they took the triangle, upside down triangle with your forward facing camera. And then you do have functionality throughout this whole grill area because remember, it is a liquid cooled battery pack. And we'll talk more about that when we pop this hood here and see what the heck is underneath it. But you can see how nice and curved it is. That's gonna help lower our coefficient drag number. And then as we rise up, you got that iconic, it's really becoming more and more iconic very quickly. Genesis badge, nice and flat to stick with the airflow design. You have simple V. I like the way it just mm, goes right up into those A pillars. And then as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire set? Now, when you go, with the performance, it's automatically gonna give you 21 inch wheels. What's new for 2024, and I know this is gonna sound weird, is that you could actually get a 19 inch wheel. But let's talk about this wheel some more. I love the way Genesis does the design. You got your six piston calipers with the Genesis name on there. Of course, you have regen braking, adaptive suspension. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of the tire wrapped around this 21 inch wheel? 255 on the width, 40 series sidewall and we have dual motors. So you have a motor up front, motor out back, that's gonna give us sticky, grippy, all-wheel drive. Now, let's go back to what I was telling you about. 2024, there's not a lot of big changes on this particular car. Color is new. Like I said, I'm digging it. 
you do have a new wheel choice and it's going to surprise you. It's not a 20 inch, it's a 19 inch. The reason why is if you want to increase range, you go with a smaller wheel and smaller tire, that's going to give you greater range over the previous model year. So something to think about. Do you really want all the performance or are you willing to give up some of that performance and get more efficiency and have a smaller wheel? Let me know what you think about this wheel. I love the nice, almost like a hand polished dark aluminum finish to it. And then the gray I'm okay with. If this was black, that would be a major zonk. Let me know what, you, what you're thinking about the gray around the fender openings. Like I said, with the copper, copper tone, it's giving me that Duracell Energizer vibe. I'm digging it. Now, as we go down the side of the vehicle, you do have power folding mirrors. I have them folded in for your protection. I do have LED lighting built in, 360 degree cameras. And I like the way they did the blackout on the A pillars. Remember, this is the A pillar, A, B, C, so on and so forth, depending on the length of the vehicle. Blacked out the A pillar. You have some bright, shiny trim, which I wish they would have went black chrome because this is the performance trim. But let me know what you think about the shiny, bright metalwork. I do appreciate that it is only on the top and not on the bottom. You do have the flush mounted door handles. Gives you that nice sleek look. And then you'll notice along the bottom, you got a little bit of the gray and just a little bit of gloss black, just a little thin strip. Now, as you work your way towards the rear, I love how the roof line comes sleek into the lift gate design. This, hello? No, just kidding. This is not glass. Well, it's glass, but it's blacked out. You can't see through it. So uh, I don't know how this is gonna wear over time when you take it to the car wash and they're rubbing towels all over it. If it's plastic or if it's really glass, like this is plastic, this might be glass, which won't wear as bad, but we'll have to see what happens. But you'll see the zigzag action. Z for Zorro, Z for zigzag and the way the trim then drips into that rear lift back and comes to a fine point. You touch that point, ow, damn, it hurts. No, just kidding. It's not sharp, but I love the way it's nice and flush and comes to the tip. Now, just like at the front of the business, you have that split level on our taillights, full LED, nice GV60 badge. They spell Genesis out on the back. If you don't know how to spell it, this is how Genesis is spelled. And then you'll see the triangular adjustments on this rear wing. Love the way they styled it. Nice kick up. And if you notice, look, no wiper. The way that they work the arrow, it goes right into the rear glass. I think the one thing I would like to change is you do have a panoramic sunroof. I just wish this back portion was blacked out. I think it'd really go nicely into the rear spoiler area. But out back, nice flush rear end. It doesn't protrude. Nobody wants a protruding rear end most of the time, at least. And then you'll have your gray finish, your reverse lights, nice and small, LED reverse lights back there, and this nice diffuser for the aerodynamic flow of this vehicle going down the road. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what the heck is underneath it in this GV60. All right, guys, we got the hood open. Good news is you do have a type of frunk. Now, this isn't a frunk like you find on a Mach-E where it's got lots of room and it's watertight uh, and weatherproof. This one though, it gives you something. So we have our two electric motors, one up front, one out back. You lift this up, here is the storage, usable storage. I like the way they give you a Twinkie cargo net to hold your Twinkies down, especially when this thing does zero to 60. But what do we got performance wise since this vehicle is called the GV60 Performance? We have two electric motors producing 483 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 3.6 seconds. It utilizes a 77.4 kilowatt battery pack. Top speed is 151 miles an hour. Range is 235 miles with the 21 inch wheels, which we have. Now, if you go with a 19 inch wheel, it actually bumps up to 264 miles. And if you're wondering what about MPGs, it equates to 97 MPGEs in the city 82 on the highway, and the car will charge 10 to 80% in about 18 minutes. But interesting how to get a better range, you got to go with a smaller wheel. I guess the good news is if you really need a massive range, you could go with like a 12 inch wheel. Just find 
12, 12 inch wheel, four of them from the junkyard that were used as spare tires. And this thing would probably get well over 300 miles. But all joking aside, let's seal everything up. Click, clack. If you're ready, I'm ready. I want to see this thing boogie in this GV60. All right, guys, we are inside this copper tone metallic 2024 Genesis GV60 performance. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I am sick and freaking tired of seeing Teslas. I see so many Model Ys. I'm like, what is going on here? Are they invading the world? And they all look like a bunch of jelly beans. I am digging this Genesis. And I think that uh, this copper color, I think, is really exciting me. How much is this? Very good question and very good point. I'm sick of Teslas as well. MSRP coming in at $75,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels. Now this particular one has a lot of creamy white interior, which is not my cup of tea, but it does really make the door panel look very futuristic. Up top, you have that smooth touch material with the contrast stitching there. You'll notice silver and the silver trim on the door panel. Nice that they didn't just do gloss black. Even the switch gear for the windows and everything is all that nice silver. You have some silver on your center speaker there. And then the door pocket is a decent size. You're just going to have to be careful with what you put in there because you don't want to dirty it up. So I would say you could put four powdered donuts and a bottle of milk. And you'll notice that we have the Bang & Olufsen sound system. That's actually one of Steven's favorite sound systems. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, I love the amount of space. It doesn't project too far towards the passenger. You have your stitching, nice smooth touch material. Love this dark gray finish. And then you'll notice as Steven kind of dropped down how flat the floor is. In the center section, it's totally flat because this is a BEV, a battery electric vehicle. Now, as we rise by, back up, you're going to get a twofer, two 12.3 inch infotainment system screens. It's the same exact multimedia system that you, that you are familiar with, with your Genesis vehicle. So there we are because we're charging, like the way they have that all set up for you. You can keep track of everything, find out where charging stations are. You got 3D setup. This is pretty cool. There we are rolling in. You ready for it? I feel like it's Morse code. But anyways, you could spin your 360 of your GV60 all the way around, and you could actually ex uh, access other things right from this menu. And then we're right back to where we started. Throw it into reverse. Backup camera clear as day. Love the way you got the copper tone on the actual image. I could do a little scan. Look at that. Really nice. Too bad it doesn't show Steven there with his blue hat. That would have been cute. And then we're right back to park. Now, as we drop down, you're gonna get your dual climate control. And then you have some physical buttons. The actual blower fan is within the screen. And I'm okay with that because you could just tap it. A lot of vehicles want you to drag. I hate dragging my finger. I like just tapping. I like tapping that. So, C controls, AC controls, nice toggle switches. You work your way down, look at this. Ooh, secret, secret, I got a secret. Secret compartment for your secret stash of Twinkies. Easily put five Twinkies in there. And then down below you have two USB-Cs, a 12 volt, and then you have a cubby here where you could put one bag lunch. So say somebody made you a couple PB&Js, maybe gave you an apple, uh, some Doritos, a little small bag of Doritos, you can keep that in there for your easy access. Now you'll notice that we have that floating center console. I really like this design. It's perfect height, two cup holders. There's our Genesis key fob. It almost looks like a Fabergé egg that somebody stepped on, but it looks really nice. Of course, you got your smart park and all that good stuff right there. If you don't want to touch the screen, you could use the mount, you could use the uh, switch gear here. Of course, you got your fingerprint scan. If you haven't been in, uh, you know, investigated by the FBI, you even have a direct drive control knob if you don't want to touch the screen. Watch this though. This is gonna control your direct drive transmission. Now, this is what it looks like when it's on. Steven's gonna focus right here and check this out. I'm shutting the car off. 
Look at that. It's a crystal ball for God's sakes. Hit the button. Whammo bammo. My only fear is what happens when the motor fails and it can't flip over. Then what do you do? Do you ask the crystal ball for AAA to come pick you up? You do have a heated steering wheel. You also have three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats. Nice soft material with the stitching. Lift it up. You got a nice little cubby for, I would say, six bags of Big League Chew. And remember, Big League Chew, you could get grape flavored and you could get regular. And you're going to want those six bags because it's been scientifically tested that Big League Chew lasts about 3.7 seconds, which is what funny is, is the zero to 60 of this. So you can put a whole bag of Big League Chew, start chomping, do your zero to 60, and now you're on to your next bag of Big League Chew. I have my phone as a test subject model here, wireless charging, nice and easy to get to. And then the seats, creamy white with the nice gray piping, great stitching and materials. Of course, you got full power assist for the passenger, full power assist for the driver. Have you ever been in a situation where say, one day somebody decides to slide the passenger seat all the way forward, and then you're about to pick up this really hot date that you have and you don't want your date to get squished in between the seat and the dash, watch this. You have that chauffeur availability to adjust your passenger seat. Your hot date, this is what's gonna get you a second date. I promise you, they're gonna love you for it because you have full command of their bodily movements. That's pretty wild. I love the microfiber material, and then just like I showed you outside, voila. You got a nice panoramic sunroof, good size. Close it up, get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the special steering wheel in this GV6. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings for the driver's seat. You'll notice you have that Genesis sill plate right there, nice aluminum finish. I wish it lit up LED light. That would have been a nice touch. Pedal box is great. Large dead pedal, aluminum brake, and aluminum throttle. And then you'll see all of the great seat controls. Look at the power hammy extension. When you have sore hamstrings because you've been doing squats and uh, maybe some lunges, you could have that just be right underneath the bottom of your leg on your hamstrings and just nestle it. Just like a baby bird is nestled in its nest by its mama bird. Or maybe it's papa bird, I don't know. Sometimes the, the mom flies away, I have no idea. But great news is, is that Plenty of room, I'm six feet tall, even with the sexy roof line. Here's the interesting thing. It looks cool. I just don't know what this steering wheel is gonna look like in a year. You know, you're eating your jelly donuts, you're eating your beef sticks and everything else. Is this steering wheel gonna be a mess? You'll notice that with the windshield wiper, it actually shows you on the screen. I like the silver finishes on the buttons. You got your boost button, gives you that extra oomph when you're accelerating. Drive modes, I'll show you that when we get close to the screen. Paddles are for regen braking. You got your different levels and you have one pedal operation and you have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then there's that dash, 12.3 inches in diameter. We got our different modes, comfort, sport. Look at the way the gauges change, I like that. And then on top of that, let's see, we do have our corner cameras. That's the technology that nobody else is bringing. And then the paddles for your regen braking. So. Nice to have that just easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and squeeze our butts or see if we even have to squeeze our butts into the back seat of this GV6. Hey guys, back seat time. Now before Steven just bum rushes me, I want to show you, you got that nice gray finish. I also want to show you, you got three stages of heated seats. The big zonk for these back seats, no ventilated seats. For 75 Gs, I want to feel coolness on my backside. So where are my ventilated seats? But I like the way they put the cup holders nice and high. Come on in, you got your AC vents in the frame. You could actually get better airflow back here. The Alcantara everywhere is phenomenal. Let me fix that, that's as low as it goes. With your headrest, soft touch material. Open this up, you could easily get four Annie Ann's pretzels. Steven really prefers the um, sugar, cinnamon and sugar one, that's his favorite. Now, what's cool about this being a Bev is you'll notice that you have your USB-Cs that's not the, the really cool thing, but you actually have this storage space here where you could put your Jordan, your Air Jordan 1s in here. You know, the, the sneaker industry has just gotten out of control, 
So if you have those, maybe you have those expensive ones. I don't even know what the hell they're called, but the ones that uh, were in Back to the Future 2, you could keep them in here and hopefully nobody will take them from you ever. I remember when I was in middle school, since we have some time, I had cut a bunch of lawns, went to work with my dad as a mechanic shop. I was in eighth grade. I bought myself a pair of Jordans. Somebody actually stole them out of my locker and it broke my freaking heart. Now, if I had a Genesis GV60 and I was in eighth grade driving it, I could have left them in here and nobody would have touched them. True story. No lie. I still miss them to this day. Seats feel great. Comfy. Great leather. Woo. You know, you'd think it's going to be as soft as a marshmallow because it sort of looks like a marshmallow. No, it's not. It feels like somebody took a rock and wrapped it in this nice leather style material. So I would like this to be a little softer, but you got your two cup holders. Same great stitching. Let's get to the cargo area because we're going for a spin in this GV60. All right, guys, cargo area time. You're going to reach down, hit that nice electric button. It raises up and you're going to be greeted to a pretty decent amount of space. You're looking at 24 cubic feet of space with the seats up. And the great news is, of course, those rear seats will do the 60-40 split. And what is that going to equate to? You're looking at over 50 cubic feet of space. Now, let's talk about what's going on back here. Of course, you have your security shade. So when you're at the mall and you're buying presents for your loved ones, or maybe just people that you hate too, maybe you buy presents for people you hate and people you love, you could actually have that there so nobody's peeping at the presents. I do like the way the cargo floor is just a little bit lower so things don't roll out. You do have a 12 volt. Kids, don't stick your Twinkie in there. It's going to hurt. And then underneath the cargo floor, you do not have a spare. You have exactly what it says, tire mobility kit. In this drawstring bag, not only does it look tasteful, but this is all your charging accessories. And then the same thing here, more charging accessories in this particular holder as well. But you know what? We've made it to that point. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a little spin and see if this GV60 lives up to its name. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Genesis GV60 performance. Love the layout in here. It really is smartly done, but what I love more is this lemon lime button right here that says boost. We're gonna go on throttle. I'm gonna hit this button and it's gonna give us a few seconds of extra power. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Ah, oh, throttle, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> chirping those Michelin Primacy tires. Like I said, chirping tires, a happy tire. And that's what all wheel drive, guys. Don't forget about that. Look at this thing. I mean, it's going to do the things that an EV does very well. And one of those things is the instant torque. You have instant torque every time you step on that throttle. And that's what makes it fun and gives it that low zero to 60 time. My problem with that is, is that I promise you, eventually it's gonna get old. You can only go zero to 60, 3.7 seconds uh, every so often that eventually it's just gonna be like, okay, why am I going zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds? So that's one of my complaints, my zonks when it comes to EVs and how they really push this fast zero to 60 time. What's great is, is that if you own a Genesis product, this is gonna fall right in alignment. The corner cameras, the way everything is laid out, the easy touch screen reach. The one thing that's gonna be a little bit different is gonna be obviously the direct drive shifter, how you go into drive and reverse and all that. And then the storage space is gonna be different because uh, unless you have a BEV, you're not gonna be able to copy this storage space set up in here. But like I said, comparing this to the Audi e-tron, I feel like this is the way more modern. Definitely stands out. I mean, when Steven and I were filming, people were coming up to us asking us, what the heck is it? And a lot of them knew it was a Genesis. They're like, is this a new Genesis? So I think they're definitely on track with their styling. Don't forget the paddles. It's not about gears. I put on iPaddle, that's one pedal operation nobody is behind us and you're able to come to a complete stop not a semi-stop a complete stop look feet are off both the brake and the throttle and we're not rolling anywhere and then you can step back on the throttle and you pull away you got the head up display 
And I like how easy it is to adjust the levels of regen braking. Some cars you gotta go in the infotainment system, like what's up with that? That's a little too busy. It's nice just to pull the paddle and that's what happens. Now I'm not gonna be able to carve corners like a Thanksgiving day turkey in here because those primacy tires do not give a ton of grip. What they do give is good efficiency and also wear very well. And remember, you can't have it all, it's impossible. I know you, you tell yourself that every time you wake up, I'm gonna have it all today, you can't. So there's always a compromise and when you go primacy, Michelin primacy in particular, they're great tires, they're just not a high performance tire. So that's something to remember in this vehicle. I think in a way it's smart that I'm able to show you this white interior because it really gives it a nice open area experience. You can see with the navigation, the augmented reality and everything, that corner camera, clear as day. And out of the EVs, this one really feels like you're driving a regular GV70 in a good way. It feels like a normal car. And I think that is smart. Having the same instrumentation, the same gauges, all of that stuff makes sense to me. You got usable cargo space. And then of course you also have a nice area for rear seat passengers, even taller ones like myself. Remember I'm six feet tall, you got plenty of room back there. I'm glad it doesn't make any stupid noises. Like I don't need a bunch of artificial noise where it sounds like a, a Tron cycle or Excite bike or something like that. I'm fine with just the, the slight whine of the electric motors. I mean, it is a BEV, so it's that's what it's gonna sound like. But I really feel that this falls into a category of yes, having performance, but more so having class and luxury. When I think of performance, I think more bolstering on the seats. I think of different materials like carbon fiber and titanium and things like that. But if you're looking for something that does have the edge to where you'll be able to outrun Steven and his Honda Civic Type R 0 to 60, this vehicle will do it. And you'll have no problem with that. But like I said, it, it really shows all the hard work that Genesis has been doing to their vehicles to really bring something unique and something different. And remember, they've been playing the catch-up game. I promise you, Audi has been around longer than 2015. I could promise you that right now. I could promise you a million dollars that if I'm wrong, I will give you a million dollars that they have been around longer as a company than 2015. But I hope that this has been a good overall review of what, as you can see, Florida drivers, that guy stopped perfectly on the crosswalk for the bicyclists. You see the little chime? Uh, that lets you know that the car pulled out, but I'm gonna wait for the bicyclist. I'm gonna do the right thing. That's what Steven always tells me. Joe, do the right thing. And that's what I do. But as we pull out on the highway to merge, peace, a pumpkin pie. Look at that, and I love freaking pumpkin pie. But you know what? I'm also digging this GV60, especially in this cool copper color, and especially if you want attention. I mean, people are looking at this vehicle like, what movie set did it come from? Because that's what it looks like. It looks like a movie car from a movie that's all about the future. But as you can see, going down the highway, nice and quiet, even with the 21 inch wheels, feels good, seats are great. Would have been nice maybe to have massage seats, at least for the driver at $75,000. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to where it all started. So I will see you in a nanosecond. All right guys, it's been another charging kind of day. I kind of feel like I need to charge my batteries after going on throttle in this thing, Genesis GV60. We gotta thank everybody at Genesis USA for allowing us access to this 2024 copper colored GV60. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you going this route? Are you going with the tried and true Audi e-tron? I know Steven's very excited to read which way you're gonna go. I can't wait to read what you have to say about this vehicle. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rise family. Of course, we can't forget the man who's wearing his blue hat. If you ever see somebody 
with a camera and he's wearing a blue hat. That is the famous Stephen Flood from Stephen Flood Photography. Give him a hug, give him a kiss, let him take a picture with you. He loves it. But show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.